Hey guys, welcome back to Tower of God, a new world. In today's video, we're going to do more of a discussion video, not so much a guide, because it's one of those topics that I don't actually have the complete answer to. And we're also going to pop some summons because, hey, we're up to our SSR plus selector and we've got 20 pulls to do. So we'll see how we go. But the topic I want to talk about is the SSR plus characters once you have all the ones you want. So for instance, me, I still don't have Big Mashini, but I'm not in a like rush to get her. I've always mentioned that in early game, uh, Karaka and and um, Kel are like two very strong ones to carry you through the early game. And then the ones you like sort of really need to keep pushing further past like chapter eight or nine are going to be Evan, Data Mashni, Data Zahard. Um, and what I want to talk about is now once you've got all the ones you want, when you get to those SSR plus uh, random selectors where you have to, you know, choose whether you reroll at once or take what you're given, what one do you go for? Now... Like I said, I'm not going to tell you guys what you should go for because I honestly don't know the best answer. But I want to hear your comments in the, uh, what you guys have to say in the comments and stuff like that because I am genuinely curious. So for me, what I've found is I see a lot of players um, being able to use something like Kel or even Big Mashini as carries at pretty high deficits once you get them to three stars. So getting that first constellation, um, getting them to three green uh, and bringing them up to get that extra attack buff and also all the multiplier buffs uh, seems to be something that makes them as viable as sort of like maybe a purple to orange SSR. And then obviously once you go past that, you're going to keep getting more viability, but it is a slow game and a slow process. So it's like, do you prioritize the DPS unit uh, like a Kel uh, because she can deal massive damage and then, you know, you're going to have another carry or do you still prioritize something like Evan because his uh, energy regeneration and stuff increases with his uh, with his dupes and that's going to make him more viable considering he's already incredibly viable. So, like I said, I don't have the answer, but it's just something to think about because I, I literally hit that stage where I got an SSR plus selector and I just like... Shit, I, I don't actually know what I want to go for. So I'll give you my thoughts and what I'm going to do personally. I think for me personally, if I see a data, data Mashini, 100% because she can do damage. She does a, she does big damage at the moment. If I have a, like on my other account where it's a lower deficit, she can do big damage at one dupe. So at three dupes, I feel like she's going to be perfectly fine. And she also serves the purpose of being a tank and she's a great invincibility tank. So I think she's going to be a great option. Now, the other thing that I think is Zahard. Now, I firmly believe that Zahard is bugged because he does zero, like he does less damage than my Evan and Bum in most fights and he's meant to be a warrior not a support character i just like his ultimate just it, it just does, like you can see it hitting the enemies it applies defense break it doesn't do the knockdown or the stun or whatever it says it does and it just does like uh, like like no doubt like it does like some like tiny like 100 100 damage or something like that but it, there's no way it's doing the multiplier damage that it states so i'm kind of torn on zahad where i already have one dupe for instance if i already had kel at one dupe i would be wanting kel more than anything else because i'd want her to get her to three dupes but with my zahad because i have him at one dupe and he's also a viable stall tank i think if i see him or data mashini i'm still going to accept them on top of that, if I see a Kel, I think I'll keep the Kel as well. I won't know until I actually do this. This is just theory. But, you know, when you're in the moment of doing summons and you get the reroll, you're like, hey, the gamble, let's do it anyway. So I'm not too sure. But the two for me, the, the one I'm most certain about, if I see her data, data Mashini, if I see her on my SSL plus selector, I am 100% keeping her. There is no chance I'm rerolling. Zahad, because I already have one dupe of him and I'm hoping that I'm just playing him wrong or there's something I'm missing, I would take him as well because he's always going to be a valuable dodge tank. Kel, I'd consider, but I'd probably reroll. And Evan, I'd just, like, if I saw him first, I'd probably reroll to get one of the others because I'm greedy, but I still think he is a good option to have the dupes of. It's just that I, I need damage in my team and I need to get that extra damage out. I only have hats as a carry um, and I'm lacking dupes on my Hua. So that's why I'm thinking that, once again, not too sure 100%, but I think Mashni is the absolute no-brainer. Zahad for me, because I already have him duped, is another one. On your account, if you had, say, Big Mashni and you had her at two copies, uh, 
I would be taking her as well if I got her on the first roll and trying to get her to three star so that she could be a carry. That is just my thoughts from results I've seen from players. But once again, let me know what you guys think. So we're going to jump in, we're going to do mine, and we're going to see what I truly believe by what I actually do, because I still have... The only thing I'm 100% sure of is if it drops Starter Mashney, I'm 100% doing it, and if it doesn't, I don't know. And then we'll see if we can get some luck in the other 20 pulls. Now, on my last 10 pull of this 200, if you guys remember my Summon Saga, I did 190 pulls with six... Uh, SSRs. On my last 10 pull, I did get a double. I got one Hua and I got the Yellow Assassin. I swear Yellow Assassin and the Yellow Chicken are just haunting me. I've got three copies of them both so far. They've never been on my wish list. Anyway, let's go in. Let's see how we go. And just be data mashy so I don't have to think about it. <laughs> Guys, I said he was number two that I would keep. Yeah, I, I said he was the number, the second optimal one that I would keep because I feel like he's bugged and I hope they fix him and he does damage because he just does no damage. Yeah, I I, I think I'm going to keep that. I, like I said, Data Mashney was my number one pick, but Zahad, I, I just, I, I am literally crossing my fingers that he's bugged and that's why he does zero damage. I put him in my 20 level power carried slot and he has more report and stuff like that. And he still does less damage than Data Mashney at the moment when she's lower level. But I'm, I'm going to keep it. I'm going to keep it and we, we're going to see how it goes. I, I think that's the play. I've already got one dupe. That gets me to two dupes. I get one more copy uh, and he's at, he gets the attack buff and then he can do no damage with an attack buff. It's fine. Let me know. Do you, do you think I'm wrong on that take? Let me know. All right, let's do the summons now. Hopefully we can get something else in these summons. Uh, in, yeah, okay. We got, we got the Zahad. Hopefully he can do some damage once I get one more copy. That's the fingers crossed thing. Let's jump into these, punch these out, see how we go. No, yellow. Okay, we're continuing on with that, that, that flow. Okay. <laughs> I did end up with eight from the last 200, so I guess it's not too bad. I heard a lot of people saying they get worse rates, so if you're getting worse than eight... Oh, yes, okay. If you're getting worse, well, six in 180, which was what I had, if you're getting worse than that, I'd be quitting the game if that's your average. What? No. No. Don't... Ugh, off... Dude, off wish list again. I'm like a 50% off wish list. I don't even know what the actual rates are. Anyway, that is it. That is my thoughts on it. Let me know what you guys think. Who are you going to go for once you've got all the ones you want? Like, what ones are you going to prioritize getting those dupes of? I mean, the Zaz are hard. Hopefully, he'll do some damage for me one day. I don't know. It's a gamble. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you have an awesome day, and I look forward to seeing the next one. Cheers.